What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, how to distract Regis like a boss. First of all, big shout out to Yatoku for providing me with some footage for today's video. The difference between a 9 to 10 minutes run and an 11 to 12 minutes run will often be the boss fight. How fast can you clear the final boss at the end of the silver arena? When you watch my streams, what you see is my point of view. All you see is me and Super Kush shooting non-stop at the back of Regis. But how is it possible that Regis is always showing us the back? He never turns around. What you don't see is what's going on on the other side. What is Yatoku doing and why is Regis so attracted by this guy? So in today's video, we will see what he's doing. Having success in the Silver Arena is all about knowing your roles and also all the details, the little details that make a difference. So what I'm going to show you before we jump on the boss fight is the very start of the round five. OK, right here, we face each other. The red drone start spawning. And right after the first wave, Yatuku turns to his left and he destroyed the red box. So that will shut the door and that will prevent the decimators from entering. That's why we have the whole area clear like that. And we're able to get rid of the razor blades so easily because we don't have to deal with the decimators on the other side. Now the boss fight, when Yatuku enters the Regis area, uh, most often he will pretty much ignore everything. The exception is if there's a very dangerous threat, like a decimator charger in this example, you will have to get rid of it because if you ignore the decimator charger, it will probably kill you. As soon as you get a little damage from something else, decimator charger can really, really kill you fast. And if you die, of course, uh, your teammates have to come all the way back to revive you and it's gonna ruin your whole run. You will also see that very often Yatuku has an AM bomb ready for the start of the fight. Throwing an AM bomb near Regis will get rid of the trash mobs, will make your job much easier. It will also deal some damage on the boss at the same time. Now what is he doing when he's done with the Decimator Charger? Even when fighting the Decimator Charger, he's already jumping on that little airlifting uh, and then he's uh, running on the platform and then going back and then up and back. What happens in the boss fight is Regis often tries to grab or, or smash the player that will be the closest to him. So when Yatoku jumps on the platform like that, Regis tries to grab him and then Yaku jumps out of range and then back in range and then out of range. You can also notice that sometimes Regis will start turning towards me and, and Super Kush, but when Yatoku jumps back on the platform, Regis start turning back to face Yatoku. In the second clip here, what you see is a bit different. There's no big threat and there's not a lot of trash mobs in the back. So Yatuku doesn't really have to turn around. He's facing Regis all the time and he keeps shooting at him. I don't know if it makes a big difference. I know for sure it doesn't deal any damage on Regis, but Yatuku thinks maybe it helps a little bit to shoot, uh, especially if your teammates are a bit close sometimes and uh, Regis really wants to turn. Maybe shooting at him will help. So you guys should try and uh, experiment a little bit and see what happens when you do it and when you don't do it. But the pattern is the same, except he's not turning around. He jumps on the little airlift and then he goes back down from the ramp. Uh, and then he's just doing a circle like that, but on and off the platform. That spot right here is the perfect spot to do it because on the opposite end of the arena is the platform with the two windows. So me and Super Kush, we have a very good shot at Regis. We can also take cover behind the windows when Regis tries to shoot at us. That's it. Now you see what's going on on the other side. You need someone to do it in your squad. So it could be you, it could be your friend. Make sure you share this video to help your, uh, your partners know what to do because it really makes a difference if you're trying to cut down on your clear times on the silver arena. Of course, uh, it might be hard the first couple of times. It takes some practice. The timing needs to be good. Yatuku here is doing it perfectly. He's been doing it a lot and he's doing it every day. Once again, big shout out to Yatuku for helping me with the video and providing me with this footage. Hope it's going to help you guys do better. I will link Yatuku's channel in the description if you want to follow him on YouTube. Now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like if it helped. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if it's not already done. 
turn on your notifications, watch my other videos, and let me know in the comments why it's your best arena run. I will see you guys soon. Take care.